Vector comes from the Latin word uh, to carry, and the difference between uh, a vector is that a vector carries a length and a direction. And uh, by length, the, the more technical term we use is a displacement. And so we talk uh, about the displacement of vectors. So just to get you used to, you know, just doing simple algebra and some of the geometry, well, let's say this is point A, and we have a vector, so it has a displacement or a, a magnitude is another word for it. And it's going out to point B. Well, we would label this the tail or the initial point, and we would label this the head of the vector or the terminal point. So this is just some uh, some words to get used to. Uh, it comes very helpful uh, when you're dealing with vectors because often problems will you say, you know, look at the initial point or the, the terminal point and you really need to know uh, what that means. So another thing to know is that we can have row vectors so say you have the row vector 3, 2, and this would just correspond to x, y, and when you're dealing with a, a point, so this is with the square brackets, this is denoting it's a vector, but say we had the regular brackets, this would be referring, referring to a point, so this is a point, and square brackets are for vectors. And this is what we call a row vector. And we could represent this another way. We could also do it with a column vector. So then it would just be 3, 2. This is a column. And the way I like to think about it is you know, if you're in a rowboat and you're rowing along, you're headed horizontally. But if you think of uh, the famous Roman columns and their buildings, well, their columns are vertical. So, you know, this, again, this is just getting you used to some, uh, some simple definitions uh, with vectors. And so another important thing uh, is to know that there is such a vector called the zero zero vector and this will this will definitely come up in your class and the, the zero vector is orthogonal uh, to everywhere on this R2 Cartesian plane so the other thing is this is dealing with R2 simply means we have uh, an X component and a Y component so it is dealing in those two uh, axes and, you know, if we had an R3, then we'd have a, a z-axis coming out like this. But we're just going to start off in R2. And I used a, a big term a little while ago called orthogonal. And, you know, orthogonal just means uh, perpendicular to, so at uh, 90 degrees to. So anytime you hear that, don't get too confused. It just means uh, perpendicular. And uh, another important thing is uh, to be able to translate. So, translating vectors. Uh, a vector, like this vector here, um, from A to B, which we'd actually write as so, uh, from point A to point B, and then we stick a, a little arrow atop to denote that it is a vector. Well, this vector we could really move anyway, anywhere, so as long as it has the same direction and the same magnitude or displacement or length, uh, whatever term you want to use for it. But So this is identical, this is vector AB, and likewise this is vector AB, and likewise uh, you know you can move it anywhere, and as long as it has the, so the two things are, it needs a 
magnitude and it needs a direction. So uh, magnitude is just displacement or length. So as long as these two are the same, this is the same vector. You can move it, you know, here, up here, back here. It doesn't matter. Uh, still the exact same vector. So um, now let's uh, let's look at a little example. So adding vectors. So say you've got um, a vector which okay this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, two, three. Okay, so say you've got a vector that goes O2 and up one. So something like this. <coughs> and uh so in this case, we denoted it from you know, point A to point B, but down here, we're just gonna use a lowercase a to just refer to this vector here. Uh, usually uppercase is dealing with points and lowercase is dealing with vectors. So that's vector a. And then say you have another vector b, which is comes out one and goes up two. So this is vector b now. Let's say we wanted to add the two of them. So we want to do vector A plus vector B. Well, this is going to just be equal to, uh, let's work with column vectors. So A is two in the X axis and one in the Y axis and then plus B. And remember the square brackets is very important. So B is one of the X axis and two on the Y axis. And so, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just simple, simple addition. So you add up the components, the X components first. So two plus one is three. And then you add up the Y components. So one plus two again is three. And so we're gonna end up, so A plus B, we can, we'll just label it vector C now, just to denote that it's a unique vector. And it's gonna go over three and up three, and it'll end up over here, something like this. But, uh, so it's important just to, just to realize that you could have done this from the graph too. So if you'd taken the, the tail of B, and you just translated it over to the head of A. And so literally, you know, just go over one and up two. So over one and up two. And you would have ended up at the exact same point. And uh, just, to, just to prove that this works either way. So A plus B is the same as B plus A. You likewise could have taken the, the tail of A and put it at the head of B, and then you would have gone over two and up one. And this would have been vector A, and that also would have given you vector C. So, so just a little introduction to how you would add, and you know, subtracting you do uh, pretty much the exact same thing. So A minus B would give you, using column vectors still, so two minus B, which is one, two, would give you, so work with the component skin, so two minus one is one, one minus two is negative one, and so um, one, negative one, so over one, negative one, would come down like this, and we'll call this vector D now. And uh, so in this case, what you would have done is you would have, when you, uh, you could think of it as multiplying B by minus one. So you take the tail of B and you bring it over here. And if you multiply by minus one, that'll actually flip the direction. And so instead of going over one in the x-axis and up two, you're gonna flip it. So it's gonna go 
back one in the x-axis and down two now. So that's just uh, another way how you can uh, think about subtracting. So you just multiply the vector by negative one. So it's the same as if you had a plus negative one times b, which would be the uh, two and one. And then you'd flip, uh, so negative one times one is negative one. And, oh, what did I, oh no, okay. Yeah, no, no, that's right. So negative one. And then negative one times two is negative two. And so this would equal, should equal uh, one and negative one, and it does, so it works. Okay, thank you, see you in the next video.